Acronomics, our, our mission as a company is to improve lives by making the unseen actionable. We're using this science of epigenetics to help people live healthier and more productive lives. Epigenetics is the science of how our DNA is controlled uh, and how it's affected by many of the largest risk factors for age and, and chronic conditions uh, as we move through our lives. Unlike genetics that's fixed from birth and tells us about our predispositions, epigenetics is providing that dynamic layer that's changing over time. Somebody that's at high risk for heart disease versus somebody at low risk from a genetic predisposition perspective could be fourfold more likely uh, to, to suffer from heart disease, which sounds pretty bad. But when you put that into the context of environment and lifestyle derived risk, it's actually 5,000 fold. So there's a huge amount more risk that can be explained by things that are actually under our control and can be measured using biomarkers derived, for instance, from epigenetics than can be got at from genetics. And that was really the kind of genesis and, and focusing of the company on supporting people with the prevention of non-communicable diseases. Primarily, uh, prior to COVID, we've been focused on the problem of how we can shift healthcare from being reactive to, to more proactive and to enable each of us to engage in prevention. Uh, and we've been using epigenetics to do this by uh, using its unique properties as a data type uh, to support people with measuring health objectively and at a molecular level. As a company with the emergence of the, the global pandemic, we, we looked internally and wanted to see, you know, what could we do? And we realized that, you know, we had a number of core competencies that we kind of built up from delivering epigenetic based testing that could be repositioned to support with the current pandemic. And so what we did was to essentially define using the Center for Disease Control gold standard method for the detection of COVID-19 viral RNA an approach that works from a simple saliva spit test uh, using reagents that we've manufactured with the pandemic in mind. The typical PCR approach is a, a nasal pharyngeal swab, which is essentially a swab that needs to go very deep into the nasal cavity, but it's pretty uncomfortable to, to have performed. It needs a, a trained healthcare professional to, to actually do the testing. It's not something that necessarily you want to be repeating uh, every other day or over the course of you know every week for the next for the foreseeable future and because of the invasiveness because of the difficulty in taking that sample here in the UK actually over 30 percent of samples are not being taken properly and this is something that from a saliva spit perspective doesn't happen because everyone knows how to to spit in a tube and when you're collecting saliva in a tube you're collecting a, a much larger volume of, of liquid that you're sampling from than is the case uh, with a nasopharyngeal swab. So you're reducing that sampling error that can come about from a, from a nasopharyngeal swab perspective. This is something that we've deployed successfully as a, an end-to-end -end service here in uh, the UK and, and parts of Europe, and now also uh, entering into other markets such as the US as well. But we've also realized that, you know, as a company uh, with our, our service offering, we, we're slightly limited in the number of people we can support. You know, we can support tens, hundreds of thousands of people, but not necessarily millions or tens of millions or even hundreds of millions. And if you want to get to those levels, you've got to go beyond your, or sorry, our specific service capacity and actually start productizing the actual reagents and collection kits themselves such that they can be plugged and played into other lab infrastructure that, that other people have in different parts of the world using our software to enable people to be tested uh, at home or in clinics globally. Uh, and so this is the other offering that we've developed for, for COVID-19 and are deploying uh, on different continents currently. So that, that's what we're doing right now, but moving back to obviously at our core, we are an epigenetics company and we are a company uh, focused on supporting people with, with prevention and, and using this this science of epigenetics and this deep kind of large biological data type uh, to support people with health. And again, with, with COVID, there's, there's opportunities as well to deliver um, epigenetic-based biomarkers that can inform and support people uh, from an immune system perspective as well. And these are things that 
uh, we're currently developing in-house at the moment.